What is going on ladies and gentlemen? This is the Knights of Horror here again at Knott's Berry Farm for Taste of Halloween. It is going to be a good day. It's already started. Walking through Ghost Town has just been awesome. And I've had a good time. We ran into AJ. Yo, fresh off a of haunted hayride. And look who I run into right here. Hi! Taste the Knots. AJ's here, enjoying. How you enjoying it so far, brother? I think it's wonderful. Right? It's the perfect blend of spooky and scary, and it's familiar to Scary Farm fans, but also fresh and just really autumn-y. I love it. Right, man. So we're going to go have some fun. It's going to be a good time. AJ, always a pleasure to see you. You as well, my friend. And uh, hope you guys enjoy. Happy Halloween! So that was really cool. We're going to meet up with a couple other friends. We've seen a bunch of other YouTubers here doing their things, so... Shout out to them for uh, spreading the word and keeping Halloween alive. But right now we're here in Boot Hill Cemetery, just kind of chilling, doing a little intro. Um, this is another great way to kick off the Halloween season. Uh, this weekend alone, I mean, first Friday we did Hayride, now we're doing Taste of Halloween. It's been a good time. I'm excited. Get started. There's people around interacting with you. They got amazing food. Halloween decorations are up. And I heard even at night it looks dope. So I'm excited to check that out. But join us it's going to be a fun time and I promise you you're not you're gonna to want to come to this event trust me you will cuz I'm already loving it and I've only been here for like 10 minutes so let's go check out what the rest of the event has to offer <laughs> you remember that it will serve you well yeah happy Halloween to you same to you excellent Are you drinking the mad Shirley temple it's an autumnal favorite around here. It's oh, positively the best. Ah! <laughs> it's bloody good. Get it in. Never mind, that was awful. Here he is, walking the street like he owns it. Good to see you, sir. Hello there, trick-or-treaters. Happy Halloween. Oh, it's so good to see you. Enjoy having spooky adventures and eating all that candy. Fill your little heads with some happy memories. Hi! 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 What's your name? My name's Anthony. Arc with me. Arc! <laughs> Arc! <laughs> Come on. Arc! Arc! Thank you. I'll leave you be now. <laughs> I, it takes a little to make me happy. Are you having a great day? Oh, yeah. Hey, you know what you call a, a, a duck on drugs? What? A quackhead. <laughs> That's funny, huh? Heck yeah. What you call? You know what to call a duck that flies upside down? What? A quack up. Uh, a quack up. Tonight, Ooh. we present the most scares. horrifying and yeah. spine tingling well, thing. I love you. I think not that's it. Taste of I don't know. Where did Luis go? How are we doing today? Doing good. How about yourself? Oh, even better now that you're here. <laughs> thank you for coming today. Oh, thank you for having us. Oh, absolutely. We're so glad you're here in our home of Capricorn. I'm just happy to be back in the Halloween season. Oh, thank you. My name is Nosy Rosie. Nosy Rosie? Why, yeah. they call, why do they call you that? Well, I'm kind of the town gossip. They put me up here in this big old house up tall. They thought they wouldn't uh, be able to hear me talk. So they'll, did they know I'm loud? Hey, I'm with you on that. Right, sweetheart. Thank you for coming by. Thank you, thank you. Enjoy yourself. Thank All you. the food. Thank you. Pretty good. Wonderful. Have you had any food yet? Not yet. I just got here. Ooh, I recommend getting some tater tots with pastrami on them. That sounds delicious. It does. All right. I wish I still had a stomach. I'll, I'll enjoy it for you. Wonderful. Let me know how it is. I got you. Have a dreadful day. You too.
everybody's waiting for the next surprise. Pelican Jack might catch you in the backpack. Ladies and gentlemen, first tasting of knots. I'm here with Rob. Me and Rob are checking out Taste of Halloween, and we got right here the cheeseburger macaroni and cheese. That looks good. That looks good or what? That looks good. That's bomb. I like cheeseburgers and I like macaroni and cheese, so it's two 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 worlds come together that I might have to try later on. Yeah, it looks bomb, dude. So I'm gonna take this first bite right here. Here, I'm gonna give you that. I'll film me. Let's see what this is like, man. This is like pretty much hamburger helper, man. Pretty good right here. Let's try this. It's pretty good. Yeah. It's That's good. Like to hear. It's really good, yeah. I'm actually I'm I'm not surprised because all the food they've been they've been putting out for all these tastings have been really excellent food. I haven't had one complaint about any of the food I've tried. So you pay $35, you get this tasting card, and this time around, the entire park's open, so Camp Snoopy's open this time, which is new. Um, tons of food to try, tons of, tons of drinks to try. If you're over the age of 21, uh, a lot of different alcohol choices to try. Uh, and also something that's new for this year, is, or at least for this event, is they have a tribute store based around Not Scary Farm. It's called Into the Fog Art Gallery and um, Tribute Store to like past events and stuff. There was a lot of buttons I saw. Like last year, they released two of the uh, the graveyard buttons of the, the past mazes. They have a lot more this year, and I really want to get them. So we're gonna check that out, uh, and also trying out a lot more food. There goes my whole paycheck, man. I know, right? <laughs> I'm only here with a hundred bucks today, so it's like I gotta I gotta spend wisely. But those pins, I'm gonna have to get, you know. So we're gonna I'm gonna finish this. We're gonna do some more walking around, checking out more decorations, and we'll to, uh, we'll keep up to date with you guys uh, as soon as possible. Then you can monster mash And do my graveyard smash You'll catch on in a flash under the ground for about 150 years but six feet still lets you hear a lot of things and if I recognize those footsteps of yours you are the Knights of Horror <laughs> you know me well you, and now I just see that it was written on your mask right my goodness well hello there friends How you doing? my name is Mayor Maroney yet my friends call me Boney I like that former mayor of Fiesta Village oh yeah what brings you into town today you know I heard there was some good food Fun time and celebrate Halloween. All my, my favorite things. My friend, can I get your first name? Anthony. Anthony, Mr. Anthony. Do me a favor and have a meal for me. I don't have the stomach for it anymore. You got it. You understand? It just sort of runs right through me. There's nothing in there. So. Any, anything you can suggest? Well, I hear it's not much of a food, but the sleeper hit this year seems to be that orange cream icy 50-50 thing. Everybody, see? That's the reaction that I keep hearing around town. I don't know if we have jambalaya anymore. I thought I heard somebody mutter that out of the corner of my ear. I could be wrong. Again, food doesn't do much for a skeleton. But for fleshy folks like yourself, please 
keep that a lot meat of, on your bones. A lot of fleshy too, so. <laughs> How do you keep your skin attached? Uh, you know, it's, uh, a lot of exercise and stretching. A lot of stretching. Oh, <laughs> you know, I, I suppose just sort of laying flat inside the casket yeah. would do that to you. Yeah. So it all just falls My off. Stretching more like you know, like this, just kind of. Guys, oh, oh, yeah, oh I, I the see food. the yeah, food. Yeah. Haven't had a meal in over a century, so that'll do it for me. I have a nice meal for you, and I have a michelada for you, too. Well, thank you. Oh, thank yeah. Thank you so much. Yeah, yeah. Like I said, I don't think they elected a mayor since my passing, so I'm the longest running mayor in town. <laughs> Got it. I love what you've done with the place, though. Hardwood floors, listen to that. All right? That is great. No more dirt, it's good. I didn't mind the dirt, but I do love some modern innovations. Right? Or, nice water fountain. More grip and traction with, with the cement, you know. Indeed, for the bull races. Alright, what's going on ladies and gentlemen? So right now we got here the, uh, the tamale. Let me... I always forget these things, man. I really do. The green monster chicken tamale with chili, uh, green chili verde, red jalapeno sauce, and corja cheese. And I uh, bought it myself, a nice michelada. Because if anyone knows me, I like me a nice michelada. It's delicious. It's actually cold this time, too. <laughs> uh, let's take this bite in, man. I'm like, I love me some tamales. A little early, but I got this. It's pretty good. Yeah. Of course, for all my Mexican fans out there, especially yeah. myself, you know what these are right here. These good with some lemon juice and tapatio. Oh yeah. Delicious. How's the, uh, how's the sauce on the tamale and the masa? The masa's good actually. It's actually it, it tastes pretty fresh. Let me get some with the cheese and the sauce now. The masa is moist. My favorite kind of masa right there. I know, right? You want a good tamale with some nice moist masa. I recommend that. That is taste two today. I'm thinking the rest might be dessert, but we'll see when we get there. I didn't want to waste it on the michelada. I actually wanted to get a good sized michelada, have it cold. But we'll see you guys soon. Oh, the golem is in Camp Snoopy. Hi. Hello. I didn't fart. Oh, well, hi. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. <laughs> All right, what's up, guys? Got the. Uh, let's see what this is. Orange creamsicle icy float. It's orange cream icy with vanilla soft serve ice cream. This is what it is. Basically, if you've ever had a 50 50 bar. Uh, the orange ice cream with the vanilla ice cream. This is basically what that is, but in icy form. So, tastes just like a 50 50 bar. Really good. Good way to cool down if you want to grab one of these ice cream and icy. Perfect mix. Delicious. The boysenberry flour tortilla chips with cinnamon sugar okay. and boysenberry jam dipping sauce. They're Boys called sweet nachos. Sweet nachos, boysenberry flour tortilla chips um, with boysenberry dipping sauce. For those of you that are wondering mm. what I'm about to dip it in right now, let me you guys a uh, stuff right there. It's right here. And I already had a bite, but... Mm. I love the fluffiness. Yeah, they're very fluffy. They are. Oh. Really good. <laughs> really good. No, no, they, they are fluffy. They really are. You know what? Like they got a crunch into them, but then they have like they're soft, you know? Mm -hmm. Yeah. There's they're like melts that, in your mouth. Right. There's like that initial crunch, but then there's the fluff and the sugar. Oh yeah. And and with the sauce, it's it's Probably really good. It. And uh you can put some chicken on mm. it. Take a bite. Delish. The sauce like puts it over the top. So ten out of ten fog machines, what would you give it? I'm gonna yeah. get it, give it like eight and a half fog machines. That that last one broke a little, but it's still working. So eight and a half fog machines. All right. Yeah, Have any food yet? Oh yeah. Oh absolutely. absolutely. All right, you. What is your favorite food here so the far? The tacos. The tacos. I, love I didn't even know there were tacos. There's chicken tacos. Chicken tacos. So what made these chicken tacos so special? They were juicy. They were juicy. They were juicy. You know you have a good taco 
when it's juicy. You heard it from me first, your folks. <laughs> oh, absolutely. Now, are you going to stay here till the sun goes down? Of course. Yeah, absolutely. Oh, that's absolutely. when all the more spirits materialize. I Ooh. go over to the graveyard when the sun goes down. I believe the Dead Poet Society is going to be arriving. The reciting poetry. Oh. Oh. Did you see uh, the gallery yet? Yes. 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 You did? What did you think? Beautiful. Beautiful. Beautiful? I was thinking a bunch of amateurs over there. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding. Wonderful artwork. It's so nice to see you. Did you go trick-or-treating yet? We're Not yet. We when On our way. That's the best time to trick-or-treat. Am I right? What's your favorite candy? Did anybody get that? <laughs> Say it again. It's Kit Kats. Kit Kats. I love Kit Kats. I'm quite partial to cherry lollipops. Cherry lollipops. They last a long time. I've had a Reese's. I've had a Snickers, a Milky Way. They all they all go away too quickly. I get to take my time with lollipop. Uh, what about you? What's your favorite candy? I love Jolly Ranchers. Jolly Ranchers. That's another long-lasting one. Yeah. What flavor? Cherry. What? Cher oh, by the way. Cherry. Oh. I like grape. Watermelon. Is there a pineapple one? There should be. There should be, right? <laughs> oh, we can put it on pizza and ruin pizza again. <laughs> oh, God, yeah. no, no. I, what no, is the jury? Do you believe like pineapple, pineapple belongs pizza. on pizza or no? <laughs> no. No. Really? No. Pineapple goes on everything. Oh, no. Oh. There you go. There you go. All right. Pineapple goes on everything. Uh, what is your favorite candy? My favorite candy would have to be Blue Raspberry Jolly Rancher. That's very specific. Blue Raspberry Jolly Rancher. I love that. Hard candy, you can never go wrong with it. Never go wrong. And did, did I ask you? What is your favorite candy? Mine is Reese's. Don't tell me. Oh. Is it Reese's? <laughs> it's, yes, you guessed it. You got it right. <laughs> yeah. Mic drop. Thank you, Ali. Thank you. You're welcome. <laughs>
Alright guys, that's gonna do it for Nights of Horror at Taste of Halloween at Knott's Berry Farm. I think it was another good event, what do you think? I, excellent event, I think it's probably been the best event so far of all the tastings. Right, I mean they had the trick or treat, that was awesome. Uh, Fiesta Village had stilt walkers. Right, yeah. I mean we had uh, Ghost Town, it, it was pretty much like Ghost Town Alive but Halloween style. Yeah, and but that the, was even, cool. even the, the trick or treating like uh, we were saying earlier, it's like, kind of like a throwback to right. the, the scare zones of, of the past. Right, yeah, so there's a lot of like throwbacks to the scare zones like Forsaken Lake, Hollows, uh, maze references, props and stuff. It's just a fun time. Uh, this is going on until November 1st, so come check it out. Uh, only I think on, I think from Fridays through Sundays. Uh, and tickets are $35 on their website. You get five tastings with your ticket, which I think is plenty. Um, you can do two entrees, a drink, and two desserts, yeah, or all perfect. desserts, all entrees, whatever you guys are feeling, come check it out. It is awesome. Like I said, fun for the whole family. Yep. So. That is going to do it today for us over here at the Knights of Horror covering Taste of Halloween. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button and that subscribe button and bell notification beware every time we put up a new video. And follow us on social media at the Knights of Horror on Instagram and at Knights of Horror on Twitter. I'm Anthony. Rob. And we will see you guys next time. Transylvania Twitch! <laughs> it's not